Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves out on the streets of New York with Vampire Dave, a.k.a. Good Guy Audits, as he attempts to antagonize some police officers who uh, appear to be having lunch at this particular time, but he just ends up making himself look like a complete idiot after one of the officers really roasts his ass. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Look at them, they hungry. They on the mill. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, tyrants, tyrants, look out. Those guys are maintaining their homeostasis. Do something, Davey. Stop them from eating before they continue to maintain their homeostasis. Stop them, stop them. Got one right there, got two of them. There's three of them, really. They ain't got no awareness. Oh, speaking of awareness, uh, Davey, I suppose you not, are not exactly aware that, of how stupid you are, considering that uh, all the research you seem to do is incorrect. I mean, you really should do better. In addition, I don't think sticking your camera inside of a window of a police vehicle makes you look any smarter either. Hey, buddy. How are you? Good. Just, just back up. You can record all you want. Just back up a few feet, okay? Bro, you heard what I said? You can record all you want, but you just back up a few, okay? You can record all you want. Just gotta back up a few, okay? Why? Who is he? He's an asshole, sir. I know that. What's his name? That is his name, sir. Asshole. Major asshole. Cause you have to. Why? Hey man, you can you can record, record. You can't. Yeah, that's, that's very nice. You can record, but you can't be touching the, the windows and stuff. Man. I can't touch the window. Like no, no I, I heard it. I heard it go. You can record all you want. No yeah, one's stopping you from recording. Just, yeah, you can record all you want. Just can't, you know, get that close. Yeah, touch the car. I'm touching the car now with the camera. It's not a car. Well, how old are you? Five. <laughs> how old are you? I respect the YouTube guys and all that First Amendment and all that stuff, but you guys gotta understand it. Nine times out of ten, you're antagonizing. Well, he's certainly not wrong there. I mean, the only thing I ever see Vampire Dave is do is pretty much act like an ass and piss off as many people as he can for clicks and views on his YouTube channel. Which makes me wonder, if this fraudulent thing ever goes away, what will he ever do to support himself? Because, well, he's done pissed off everybody in New York. And, well, with his criminal record, he can't exactly get a uh, decent job that'll pay the bills. So, what is he going to do? Become a circus performer? Did I say anything to them? Or they came out to me? Just the interaction, man. Bootlicker 101, look at that. So, how can I help you? Huh? How can I help you? How can I help you? I don't need help. I didn't actually. Okay, for help. so don't bang on my window with the camera. I didn't bang on the window. Yeah, you did. You can. I'll, I'll, like, so I'm gonna say if one my, more time. If my camera tapped the window, mm -hmm. it wasn't intentional. Okay, no problem. But right. So, like I said, you can record. And it's all not a crime to touch a window. Well, we gotta hand it to you, Dave. I mean, uh, 
You're not exactly the most talented of liars out there. I mean, you really should cover your evidence when you do lie because you've got it on tape that, well, you did tap on the window, so you're not very good at lying altogether. So, but hey, the old saying goes, you gotta lie to fraud it. It says nothing about how good of a liar you have to be. So why you feel the need to come out and give me unlawful directive? So let me understand this. Why do you feel, as a grown man, why do you feel the need to come up to, uh, yep, you could get it all you want, buddy. How, why do you feel as a grown man to come up to police officers, like you said, antagonized with a camera? What are you, five years old? You know what checks and balances are? Yeah, I do. Yeah. What does it have to do it's with anything? It's our duty as Americans to check up on you. Make sure you're doing the job right. So what do you think what does that have to do with anything right now? I'm just, I'm just curious. It's, it's called investigative journalism. Well, Davy boy, if you're an investigative journalist, then tell me, what have you discovered in your years of being an investigative journalist? Have you published anything that uh, has gotten you a Pulitzer Prize that uh, has cha been life-changing for anybody or uh, changed the world in any way? Uh, no, I don't think so. You're just another punk off the streets that thinks he can uh, get away with anything that he wants because he thinks the First Amendment allows him to do that. Nope, you're just another uh, misguided, a frauditor with delusions of grandeur who thinks he's bigger than everybody else in the world because he has a camera. What are you no, doing? that's not. So it is. is. I'm it just, is. I'm investigating I'm not even you. I'm investigating sorry, sorry, the vehicle. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Serious? City funded property. That's what I'm investigating. Serious? Is that a crime? I'm not taking questions. That a, is I'm that asking you a question. You a question. Ask, Out of straight curiosity, I'm just wondering what you thought you were going to see in there. It's called an I'm investigation. I'm not telling you to stop. It's I'm called an investigation, you. so whatever I find, I find. For like if what? I don't what find anything, find? then I don't find anything. You never know. I'm just curious. Yeah. That's you why it's you, called an investigation. So this journalism. is your job? Like, this is what you do? Yeah, it's called Freedom of the That's Press. That's very sad. Oh, yes, officer. It is really sad, isn't it, that he believes that freedom of the press means freedom to go anywhere he wants just because he thinks he's a member of the press. Or, he, well, he's not exactly a member of the press. He's just some idiot with a camera who's way too undereducated to understand a damn thing. And he prefers to wallow in his own ignorance rather than get himself educated. And we can already tell that because, well, the plain view doctrine, for instance, he always spouts off. And, well, he doesn't understand that at all. That is just one of many things. As a grown man, one that's of the very oldest sad. jobs in America, journalism is sad. Yeah, it that is. That you sort of protect the Why side. don't you go do that to a state why trooper? Why don't you take the oath then? I take the oath to protect people, not so to why deal you not with people like my yourself. Rights? You also you also swore oath to protect our rights. Right, and and what you're right, doing so, again as a grown man, yeah, coming up to you, windows and knocking on them with a camera. You disagree? You disagree with the Constitution? So why you swore oath to it? I swore an oath, like I said, to, to protect people. To the Constitution. People. Yeah. You're putting, you're putting words and to the yeah, Constitution. That's right. Nobody, nobody, but you, you just said that it's sad. The Constitution is sad. No, I said you're sad. Journalism is sad? I don't think that's called journalism. It is journalism. Freedom so of the let press. So let me ask you something. So, yes, I get it. Freedom of the press, right? So you come up to a cop. You got a okay, job look to at do. that. We have a job. You got a job to do. Yes, Davy boy. They have jobs, which is something that you'll never have. It's something that you'll never have to completely pay your bills or anything like that. Because, well, you've just got too much of a criminal record. Which makes me wonder, what happens after this gig is over with? How will you exist in New York? Will you exist living on the dime of the taxpayers like you did before? Not harass citizens. While they, I, while they, I didn't say shit to you, so try again. We're also citizens. Try again. I didn't say anything to you. We're also citizens. All I'm doing is recording, so it's not Nobody antagonizing. It's not harassment. Let me get your cards before you go. Let me get your card. Tough guy. We had a bootlicker, and we had some some tyrants. And we have a butt hurt frauder who can't stand the fact that uh, these cops got one over on him. So go, why don't you go home and cry in your bed, cry to your mama, maybe she'll make you some uh, uh, warm chocolate chip cookies and give you a glass of milk. Oh, and don't forget to uh, go to bed tonight and 
uh, with your favorite stuffed teddy bear, so maybe you'll feel better tomorrow and get up for another day of pointless frauditing. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, so I will see you on the next one.